coming live from Harvey the Weatherman. Oh, oh, get ready, let's go. Come and have fun with the dream team. Hey, dream team. Hey, everyone. Dream team, what are we going to do today? We have nothing planned. We could visit the safari. Done that. Or we could go to a sock play. Oh, we've been to lots of those. I know, let's be scientists. Scientists? That's definitely your idea of fun, Harper. Well, it's everyone's idea of fun. We get to do cool experiments. Well, I guess that's fun. Yeah, because learning is fun. That <laughs> is true, Harper. <laughs> okay, how do we become scientists? <gasps> Duh! The Gift Fairy! Oh. <laughs> Gift Fairy, we need you! Hello, my lovely friends! Gift Fairy, we want to be scientists, so do you reckon you could grant us some sort of science dream? Okay, but only if you can name me three female scientists. Three? Oh. Uh, I don't know if I know three. Wait, and what they are known for. Oh, 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 I know. Of course, Marie Curie. She was a chemist and a physicist, and she specialised in radioactivity. Great job, Arthur. Oh, oh, and she was the first woman to win the Nobel Prize and the first person to ever win it for two sciences. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, I do know there's a woman named Jeanette Vilpre Power. She invented the modern aquarium for observing and describing argonauts and octopuses. Whoa, I didn't know that, Robin. That's so cool. Oh, okay, and my one will be Joan Burrell Owens. She was a coral biologist and teacher and the first African-American woman to be awarded a geology PhD. Oh, wow, Dream Team, I am so impressed with your knowledge. You have earned your fun science dream. Oh, I hope we get to cool experiments. Oh, yeah, me too. All right then, Dream Team, let's go dream. Oh. Yay. <laughs> All right, Dream Team, lay down and close your eyes. Papa, I'm granting this dream gift to you. Bringing magic, gifting dreams. With the tap of my wands, you'll fall asleep. Enter a world where dreams come true I'm the gift fairy, here's my gift for you Dream Team World! <laughs> wow. wow! We're a little lab investigators, Dream Team! Oh, let's do some science experiments! Oh, but first, let's get our goggles on. Oh, yeah. Safety first! Oh yeah, and we already have our gloves. Perfect. Hmm. <laughs> oh, look at all this cool stuff. Wow. Oh, look, Dream Team. This shows us the pH scale. This is how we know if things are acidic or alkaline. But wait a minute, Harper, what's this cabbage for? <laughs> um, good question. Maybe we should chop it up. Oh, I know. Different plants can react to acid or to alkaline and change colour. Maybe a cabbage will change colour. Oh, Let's chop good. it up, boil it, and then we can test it out. <laughs> Before we do this, make sure you have a grown-up with you. Then I think we have to take the dark purple out. So, I guess if we put it in some water, yeah. You've got some boiling water there, don't you, Robin? I've got some here. Okay, so let's put it in the bowl. <laughs> and then add the water very carefully. Oh, that's so cool. Amazing. So now we can use the water from the cabbage because that's our neutral. So that's our pH 7, which is neutral on the scale. And we'll suck it up with this, put it into our little beakers, and we can test each different substance. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> Which one are we going to test out first? Ooh. How about we use some bicarb? Oh, cool. Okay. I wonder what colour this will go. I'll pipette a little bit in. Ready? Here we go. <gasps> it's Ooh, blue. Wow, it's gone blue. Okay. All right, do you want to fill this one up, Harper? Okay. There we go. I think this one is white vinegar. <gasps> That's yes, right. I think you're right. Do you want to drop it in? Okay. Ooh, what colour is it going to be? <gasps> oh, look. Okay, Whoa. your turn. All right. I feel like a real scientist using this pipette and beaker. Yeah, you look like one too, Clara. <laughs> okay, so now we've got some toothpaste. Ooh. And we'll drip it in. <gasps> it's still kind of purple. Maybe oh. I'll add a bit more. 
It's a lighter purple though, isn't it? Yeah, oh, compared oh. to our cabbage water. So maybe it's alkaline, but not as strong as the bicarb was. Yes. Oh. Okay, next we've got some bleach. Do you want to do Ooh, that one, yes. Robin? Here you go, the pipette and your Thank beaker. You. Now, bleach is something that we use to clean our houses, so it's got to be pretty strong. I think yeah, so. I think so. Ooh, lots of bubbles Ooh. in this one. <gasps> Look, it's changing so quickly! <gasps> oh, wow! Ooh. Oh, it's pretty, I like it. It's quite similar to the vinegar, actually. It Let's is. compare. Mm, the vinegar's a little bit lighter. Yeah. Oh, what's last? Is it milk? I'm really excited to try this one. It's milk. I have no idea which way this one's going to go. Yeah, because we drink milk, so it can't be that acidic or that alkaline. Yeah. Oh. So maybe it will be a different shade of purple? <gasps> maybe, yes. Mm. Okay. Let's see what colour the milk goes. All right. What's your guest dream, team kids? What colour do you think it's going to turn? Let's see. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, it's like a cloudy lilac. <laughs> Very wow. pretty. That's so cool. And it hasn't changed much in terms of the colour, so I'm guessing milk is almost neutral. Well, that is good if we're drinking it. You're right. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> now, since we were using our cabbage, which started off at purple as our neutral, we got some pretty different colours to what you can see here on this scale. But we also have these, which we can use as the universal indicator. So this universal indicator paper is a more accurate way than the cabbage indicator of telling us where on the pH scale something is. So all the way at zero, we've got really acidic stuff. And all the way at 14, we've got really alkaline stuff. And seven was our neutral. But I wonder what color our Ooh. paper will be. <gasps> Ooh, wow. it's, it's green. green. Nice. <laughs> So if we look at our scale, where do we think that is, Dream Team? Hmm. Oh, I think it's somewhere between somewhere these two. Yeah, like nine and ten. Yeah, so maybe like a nine and a half on the pH yeah. scale. Let's try the vinegar. I think this is going to go a bit more ready orange. Yeah, because it was pink with our cabbage <gasps> water. Ooh. Ooh. It's a perfect match for you, Robin. <laughs> I love it. Where are we on the scale? I think it's about three. Yeah. Oh, so very acidic. One. And now we have our toothpaste. Oh, yeah. Time. Let's see. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. It's yellow. yellow. Oh. Pretty close to neutral. Wow. Next up, we've got our bleach. Now, this is one that we think is really acidic, don't yeah. we? Yes. Surely it's going to go like red. So, uh, yeah, I'm orange or red. Ooh. Orange. Hmm, whereabouts do we think the orange oh, goes? Probably between that three and five, yeah. yeah. Oh, so the vinegar's more acidic <gasps> than the bleach. What? That's crazy. Oh, it's so fun learning new uh -huh. things. Oh. Cool. Okay, what's next? Okay. The milk. <gasps> yes, let's try the milk. There it made go. our cabbage water really cloudy, but I wonder what it it's would be. It's green. Ooh. Oh, cool. It's about, I would say about eight. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's almost the exact same colour. It's perfect! Wow! Oh, wow. Oh, what a cool experiment! <laughs> yeah! Make sure you have a grown up with you if you're going to try this one. <laughs> what can we do next, Dream Team? Ooh. Another experiment, please! Yes! yes. <laughs> so, our next experiment is all about electricity, <laughs> specifically static electricity. So, cool. we've got these balloons, and I think we can make some static electricity ourselves! That's right, so rub as fast as you can! can. <laughs> so that we generate lots and lots of static electricity. <laughs> And then once we've built some up, I wonder if I can stick my hair to the balloon. Oh. Is mine sticking? <gasps> oh yes, oh. I see yours. <laughs> you can try this one at home, it's really fun. So that's a way that we can generate some static electricity ourselves, but we have a special little something here that can really help us out with that. Oh, yes. it's the Van de Graaff generator. Let's turn it on. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Oh my oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear it whirring. This little van just rotates really, really fast. It's basically a faster version of us rubbing our balloons. And it's creating lots of static electricity, which creates this charge. We also have this metal ball, which works as our conductor. <gasps> Let's see. see what happens when we put it on. Can you turn the lights on? Ooh, Ooh. Yeah, so that we can see the sparks even better. Oh, wow. wow! It's like purple lightning. I can feel that in my hands. So this is what happens in the sky with the clouds and the lightning. Whoa! Wow! It's 
passing on from here to the wand. That's amazing. <laughs> Do you got a question on your mind? All the things that you can find. So much wonder in the sky. Scientists always asking why. into the water and we put two spoonfuls in. Do the honours please Robin. There we go, we've got one. one, that's it, ooh, and two. Nice. Oh, okay, and then we do how many teaspoons of this one? Two as well, Harper. Oh, perfect. Okay. Into the balloon. We might need help holding it open for Harper. Okay. Oh. Oh. Working together. That's it. Oh. One. Ooh. Good. Give it a shake. Shake, 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 shake. And two. Shake, 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 shake. shake, 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 shake. Nice one. All so down the bottom. now we have to get the lip of the balloon round the edge <gasps> of the test tube. Ooh, I'll hold it. Okay, yes, you hold it Keep still it lucky. Keep it steady. But don't tip any of the baking soda in just yet because we want it to blow up. Okay, I think it's all around. Mm -hmm. And when we're ready, we're going to tip it up so <gasps> that the alkaline baking powder falls into the citric acid mixed with the water. Ready, everyone? I ready. Hope it works. <gasps> wow! Oh my goodness! It's blowing up by itself. Look at all the bubbles! Oh, cool. Wow! There's I been a chemical that. reaction. <gasps> Whoa! What wow. a real scientist! And that's because it's produced carbon dioxide. Of that's course, so, cool. so it's a gas that fills the balloon. Science is so cool. Look at all the bubbles. <laughs> bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Bubbles. Whoa. I love bubbles. <laughs> oh, that was such a cool way to finish our science experiment. Oh. Dream lucky. Yeah, yeah. thanks. <laughs> Bye, Dream Team kids. See you next time. Uh...
Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, Dream Team Kids. Bye, everyone. See you next time.